Yes, people, welcome to another Chelsea video, man. Keeping you guys up to date every single day, even at work, people. Even at work, the show, the grinding must still go on, people. Big news, and Kenku is officially a Chelsea player. Very, very key for Chelsea's future, the project. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot more gossip news that I want to get into, so make sure you guys sit back, enjoy. Like the video, one click people helps out the channel. Subscribe and hit the notification. Tune in every single day. Comment down below and check out my second channel, Sid TV. We'll be covering all European clubs, the big clubs, the Barca's, the Madrid's, uh, PSG, Bayern, and obviously the Premier League top clubs as well. So please go check it out. Description, comments, everything. But listen, let's get into the main topics, basically, people. Let's read this properly, man. Obviously, Chelsea announced the player about seven hours ago, finally. I mean, it's been about 50 years. We've been waiting for Richard Romano. did say that it will be after the international break. Um, so here he is, people. You know, we've been waiting for a big signing. And we had a um, we had an article from Telegraph coming out saying that Chelsea officials believe that they've basically landed three players in one in basically Nkunku proving himself he's capable of playing as a number nine, number 10 left I didn't see the right, but you know what I mean? He could play in three different positions and especially with Poch's system that most times would be a 4-3-3, which will suit him perfectly, but also a 4-2-3-1 system. So it is very, very key that Ngenku is able to play in different positions. Very key to see what Chelsea will do next. Will we sign a new striker? You know, Lukaku angry at Chelsea, which I'll be getting into. Uh, Chelsea trying to force him to go to Saudi. He said no. Uh, he appreciates the offer, the money, but uh, he wants to Inter Milan. Inter Milan don't want to sign him on a permanent. They want to try and get him on the loan. Chelsea not interested. So it's a it's a domino effect right now. People, it's going a, a bit crazy. Uh, it's still early in the window. Of course, it just opened about four or five days ago. There's still time, but Chelsea must get this sorted asap. And Kunku, will it be the next main striker at Chelsea Football Club? I really hope not. I hope we sign a big striker. Your Harry Kane's, your Oshermans, all these guys should become the Chelsea Football Club. We're looking around 300 million outgoing sales revenue that definitely makes sense for Chelsea. We need to be getting this money in. However, we did have some bad news that I do want to get into. Kovacic, I saw 25 million, which is uh, not good enough in my opinion. 25 million. I think 30 million would be acceptable. But 25 million Man City, no. Cough up the money. Yeah, personal terms agreed is all fine. But give us the money that we deserve for the player. Thank you, Kovacic, of course. I do believe he's definitely gone now, 100%. But uh, Man City have to pay the right amount of money. I know I know teams know that Chelsea are desperate to make as much sales as possible. And there's talks about Chelsea needing to hit a certain target by the end of June. My friends, seriously. We should be getting at least 30 to 35 million for this player. I don't care if it's one year left on a contract. Make sure Chelsea Football Club get this sorted. Otherwise, you know, we need to go look at someone else at this rate to, to buy Kovacic. So that is a, another topic. We had Money Mace. Manchester United are urging, um, sorry, the manager, Ten Hag, is urging Manchester United to sign Mason Mount. He's very, very keen. He's waiting. And I can tell you this. A lot of Chelsea fans are waiting as well. They want this done ASAP. They want this guy gone. Literally, they want this guy out. All the clapping days, all that stuff, Minos have seen all that, that's done. The shovel's out. It's time for him to go. It's as simple as that. Money Mace, Havertz, they're all leaving. All Minos' guys leaving. Carefree Lewis G won in the end, of course, about Mount and Havertz. Um, I think people would have... Been against Lewis if uh, Havertz was to join Madrid and Bayern. You know, some fans would have been a bit, you know, angry. Not as much as they are now because Arsenal Football Club is still a rival. At the end of the day, Arsenal had a fantastic season last season. And I feel like Havertz will strengthen them. I, I really, really do believe Havertz will play a massive part in Arsenal's success over the next couple of years if he's to join them. I do believe he suits their play. And I do believe, I think I do believe... It's a couple strong words from my opinion. But um, I do believe, it's like Mourinho, I think I think um, Havertz will do fantastic. Uh, and uh, I think um, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a mistake from Chelsea, you know? You know, Ranieri used to say borrow rather than Middlesbrough. 
Bordeaux playing very well, very random for me. But um, yeah, throwback. But yeah, Mesa Mount people, it's gonna be interesting to see Mesa Mount leaving. Hopefully around fifty to fifty-five million, maybe with bonuses. You got Havertz. We've got news on him around sixty-eight million with bonuses included, people. So let's see what we what we can see about that. Uh, Havertz still could be done around 65 million. Talks to follow, says Fabrizio Romano. Arsenal make a new offer for Kai Havertz, Chelsea, 60 million. The offer is going to 55 million plus 5 million. I don't know. You know what? Just take it. Just, just, just take it. Just move it along. Just literally move it along. Let's, let's take it. Let's move on. Let's start fresh. We want this project. Let's go, people. It's as simple as that. And like I said about Lukaku, big article coming out in Italy, of course, what about Romelu Lukaku. Lukaku is unhappy with Chelsea's attitude as they try to push him to Al Hilal, and he's planning to go to London after the Estonia game, probably with his lawyer. It's that I don't understand. Nothing's happened. Like you haven't signed, you haven't been told that you're definitely leaving for this team. You can't be forced to join the team if you don't want to join. So why are you like bare unhappy? It was okay when you done an interview, right? It was all calm when you done an interview randomly when Chelsea start winning games. You don't want to fight for your position. People talking about you're the next studio drug bar. And by the way, I just want to say, we need to ban this, the next studio drug bar or next studio drug bar region. You know, we're seeing, we're signing Nicholas Jackson. We're talking about the next studio drug bar. Stop, please. Let's just stop this stuff now because it's getting really, really frustrating. Lukaku, I cannot tell you how much I did not want this guy at this football club when we signed him. You don't saw my face when I went from Harlan News to Lukaku News. You not saw my face. I was not happy. Honestly, I was not happy. I was depressed about it. You know what? I might actually have to react to some of these videos, people. I might have to react to some of these videos that I've done on Harlem. And people going at him about 800000 a week or something before tax. The guy deserves it. The guy actually deserves it. Come in the first season, absolutely destroyed it. If I saw him do it for Chelsea, I would say pay him that money as well. I would say pay that money as well, man. It's crazy. They have not won the Champions League before and he's won it in his first season. He won the Premier League. He won another domestic cup. They've done the treble, people. If Chelsea done the treble, you guys would not be saying anything about Lukaku. Lukaku, if Lukaku scored 35 goals, 40 goals in his first season, he won us the Champions League, you guys would not be saying, why are we paying him so much money? You lot would be saying, increase his money. It's as simple as that. But clubs have different ambitions. We are going through a project. We are going through a manager that hasn't won major, major trophies a lot. But I do believe he'll do good at Chelsea. I do believe he will come very strong at Chelsea. We've seen what he can do with Tottenham. He's taken an average Tottenham team to the very top. Yes, he didn't win. He got into the Champions League final. He got into the same finals as many as Arsenal Football Club. One each. Title race twice with that team. Okay. So imagine what he can do with Chelsea when he gets the right tools. It's as simple as that. But Man City, they've got different aspirations. They've got Pep. They'll give him whatever he wants. Pep can get rid of players like Kyle Walker right now who might be leaving. And he'll just replace them and bring in someone else in. And he will still gel them in that same season. And they'll probably still win the league at this rate. So we can't really get... You know, we can't really drop comments on Man City for doing this and that. Because if we could do that, we would do that. If we had Pep, it's a different story. It's a different ball game. I can show you that as well. So I can't hate. Um, especially I've seen Chelsea spend money and Varo fans hating on me and and what we've been doing. Even though we haven't won anything like the Premier League in a, in a couple of years now, it still makes you think: Why should we hate on Man City? Unless they're found guilty. Different story, people, but they are not guilty at the moment. Innocent until proven guilty. That's always the rule, people. Until I see news come out saying Man City guilty of this, bang, I don't want to hear anything about Man City cheated this or Man City spent this much money or Man City done that or Man done, done this. I don't want to hear that, man. But yeah, that's all I want to say to you beautiful people. Um, quick video, of course, 10-minute gang. You don't know how we do. 9 minute 40 at the moment. We're just going to run it up. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification. Me and Faro is going live later on tonight as well. It's his last day before he goes on holiday. So it's like, come on, man, let's do a stream. I said, like, you know what? We'll run it up. Bang. Done. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys very soon. Uh, 
Thank you for the support on Sid TV. It's doing well, averaging 200 to 600 views a video for a small channel, talking about general club. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy about that. But yeah, big up to every single one of you lot tuning in, and I'll see you guys very soon.